What was a fact taught to you in school that has been disproven in your lifetime? Eggs are good for you. Eggs are bad for you. Some eggs are good for you, but not too many. Eat all the eggs you can. Eggs are bad for you again. Eggs are good for you again. ETC. 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 When I was a lad I ate 4 dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. And now that I'm grown I eat 5 dozen eggs. So I'm roughly the size of a barge. That it's impossible for girls to be colorblind. In 8th grade science, my teacher started showing our class those circles made of different colored dots. If your vision is normal, you see a number. If you're colorblind you either don't see a number or you see a different number. When I started calling out different numbers than others in my class, he started trying to like, stump me. He couldn't believe I was colorblind. He was shuffling through all his cards with the circle dot numbers. He just about refused to believe it. This was in 1996. I've learned since that it's still incredibly rare for girls to have color blindness. But we're out there. My 6th grade math teacher told us that God gave us butts for spanking. The 90s were a weird time. I personally crap out of mine but I guess everyone's different. In high school my teachers would preach that in college, a professor would never accept any assignment that was turned in a nanosecond after the due date. Experience has taught me that some professors are very understanding of their students' workloads and schedules, and will work with you and give extensions, accept late work, etc. On a similar note, all of my teachers said that in high school teachers would throw out any assignment that someone forgot to put their name on. The opposite happened. There would always be a big announcement to try to figure out whose it was. Heck, even my professors in college do that. Much of the geography I was taught in school ended up being wrong while I was still in school. Now a few borders moving or countries renaming themselves on the far side of the world would not matter so much. But I went to school in Germany in the 80s and 90s. My parents paid good money for a world atlas for my geography lessons. That I was supposed to use for several years. The next year the publisher came out with a revised atlas with a little German flag on it to indicate that this one now showed a united Germany among other things. Not something I learned in high school, but I learned it during that age. Essentially I was taught that applying a tourniquet in a first aid situation guaranteed that the person would lose their limb, and that it should only ever be a last resort in an exceptional situation. Turns out it takes a really really long time for someone to actually lose their limb when putting a tourniquet on. And a lot of people bled to death in the beginning of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan because people were hesitant to use tourniquets. Now applying a tourniquet is one of the first steps when treating a casualty, at least in a military setting. That insulin producing cells in the pancreas are gone for good once they are destroyed by type 1 diabetes. New research shows that they do get reproduced by the pancreas, but the autoimmune response destroys them again straight away. There is ongoing research into how to turn this autoimmune response off, with some headway being made with a tuberculosis vaccine. I had a female teacher in grade 11 health teachers that guys can't pee with a erection. I told her she was wrong and she argued with me. Source. Done it. Why? Go to the best college that you can get into regardless of the cost, because your career earnings will always be enough to cover it. No one was actually burned at the stake during the Salem witch trials. While in England condemnation by the church actually did lead to some burnings. In the New England colonies the more secular laws called for hanging on suspicion of witchcraft. They also crushed a guy. I learned that when humans were still hunter-gatherers, one of the ways they hunted was digging deep holes in the ground, setting it up with spikes and then luring mammoths in those holes. Years later I saw a little article in the newspaper that this wouldn't have been possible, simply because it's not exactly easy to dig a deep enough hole in the ground without modern tools. During the height of the AIDS scare in the mid to late 80s, one of my health teachers taught us that HIV could be spread by simply hugging or touching someone infected with it. I was taught that in college you will spend all of your study time in a library reading and researching using books and reference catalogs. The internet was evil and full of lies and not a valid resource for academic research. I have literally never taken a book off the shelf at my college library. All my professors basically expect me to use the internet. 
The Coriolis effect means toilets flush the opposite way in the southern hemisphere. 1974. We have to learn the metric system as the US is converting everything next year. 1976. Smoking marijuana makes you sterile. Tell that to my children. I wish the one in 1974 happened though. I was in first grade in 1977. My teacher was an old lady, on the brink of retirement. Needless to say she taught us her dated knowledge. Things we've learned. The continents never moved. It's just a coincidence that both sides of the Atlantic Ocean look so similar. No one knows why the dinosaurs vanished. They certainly had nothing to do with birds. Christopher Columbus was a great guy who set sail from Spain on a hunch that he would find an unexplored continent. Isn't the myth that he was convinced the world was round when everyone else thought it was flat. In actuality everyone knew the earth was round and how big it was. He thought it was smaller, i.e. that the ocean was smaller. Dumbass was lucky America was there. Our brains cannot heal. I was in the final class for my psych major psychology physiology 2 and the professor spent a fair amount of the first class apologizing to us. As we had gotten to the point that enough research had gathered to show that brains do indeed heal. He said he didn't. Therefore, know how much of the information he would be giving us over the semester was going to hold up as accurate. Nor what we had been taught over the previous 4 years. Psychology is really like 75 years behind other medical fields. Yo. This hasn't been disproven really. It's just an oversimplification that was never corrected until I read about it on my own. In elementary school I was taught that there were three states of matter. In high school I was taught that there are four states. Solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Then I read about Bose-Einstein condensates and realize that barely even scratched the surface and there's over 20 plus that have been discovered. A lot of educated people aren't aware of this I've found. Simply because unless you go into a science field it probably won't affect you one bit. Still, I think it would be nice if it was at least mentioned in passing for the nerds like me who would care. We were taught that there were three basic types and most people don't need to worry about the really crazy ones. I also had some surprisingly good science teachers. Your friends aren't always going to be there for the answers I have the collective knowledge of the world in the palm of my hand. Still no friends, though. Starting sentences with conjunctions was incorrect. Only found out the truth in my high school senior year, when I got really into writing stories and looked up some tips. And lo and behold, it's grammatically fine to start a sentence with conjunctions. I write stories for fun and from the research I did what we are taught in school is supposed to be for formal letters and stuff not for stories. Starting around 4th grade, I began writing everything with pen because I loved how smooth they wrote and I would get chills, like nails on a chalkboard chills, writing with pencil for some reason. Teachers told me if I wrote everything in pen in high school, the high school teachers would just throw away my work and fail me. Turns out almost everything in high school needed to be done in pen, or typed. When I was in 3rd or 4th grade we were taught cursive. The teacher insisted that all my high school teachers would automatically fail any papers that weren't in cursive and that everything done in the adult world isn't printed. By the time I got to high school everything had to be typed and the only requirement for cursive I've seen in the adult world is things that require my formal signature. Times New Roman is the new cursive. The reason so many women voted for the first time in 1960 was because Kennedy was good looking. Kennedy won because women couldn't control their lusty desires. This was in public high school. They still teach this. Source, was taught this last year. What dinosaurs looked like. Now we know they had feathers and used their tails for balance, but before they were like standing lizards. If you go into a gas station every single Monday at exactly 3 p.m and but a lottery ticket, and finally you win. The following Monday at 3pm your odds of winning a game decrease significantly we were learning how odds work and I ended up getting kicked out of class for telling my teacher that she was wrong. Freshman year of his school. That there is nothing in the center of galaxies, that the stars are just orbiting the center of mass of the whole thing. 
Growing up I went to a small private church school, and they basically taught us that not everything in science could be trusted, because science said the earth was millions billions of years old but according to the bible it was only about 6000 years old, and just other stupid crap they tried to tell us in regards to science. It was actually crazy, growing up I never really liked science so much because of how bad they made it seem, and then I got to high school, and loved my science classes the most, it's so fascinating, and I just graduated with my biology degree this past spring, and now I just laugh at the things they tried to tell us as kids. Don't trust people who actually test what we believe. That no one knows where the moon came from. When I was in school there were a lot of theory as to the origin of the earth, captured meteor, formed at the same time as the earth from the same dust cloud, split from the earth while the earth was still molten. Now we basically know that earth and a mars sized meteor collided and the fragments formed the moon. Moon is goddess, wife of sun, it is known. If you be nice to people people will be nice to you. This is my highest rated reddit comment and it got gold what the frickle mayo. That tongue chart showing that different areas of your tongue taste different senses, sweet, sour, etc. I remember being shown this chart in elementary school and trying to test it at home with no luck. I didn't know for sure it wasn't true for years though. I vividly remember learning it took exactly 24 hours to digest food. I even remember Josh Emberton's response so if I ate a banana at 12.30 on Monday, I would poop out that banana at 12.30 on Tuesday, right somehow. I was the only second grader who found this funny. No Josh, you'll poop out that banana a few hours later. If you just work a job you can buy a house when you're a grown up. Bahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah